Hey YouTube, welcome back. Um, I've been away a little bit. I, uh, I'm terrible with these videos, but uh, today I've got Megatron and Optimus Prime, the OG originals uh, by Prime One Studios, and uh, bought these uh, off a collector locally in Sydney um, who was happy to sell them at a reasonable price. And uh, I was pretty happy to pick them up actually, because considering these are the first uh, Transformers that Prime One had made, especially I think the Megatron was the first statue that Prime One made. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, if anyone does know that for a fact, let me know. Uh, they're both edition size 500. The Optimus is the Japanese Shogun uh, version or version or whatever they call it, but uh, it is um, its own uh, special edition with some special gun weapon and whatever and here yeah, have a little <laughs> um thank you um yeah so i thought with beast wars or beast mode or whatever's coming out with the transformers um might be a uh, good idea to do this video considering i just got them um very very what the fuck very very cool uh statues um, yeah, like I said, they're sort of the first ones that uh, Prime One had made in the uh, Transformers, and uh, really well done, you know. They're obviously, they've gotten better since uh, they started, but uh, they, uh, you know, for their first go at it, it's, they're still really good. Still, come on, stop, stop. They, um... Yeah, I mean, the paint job has the sparkle to it, the reflectiveness, and, uh, you know, like the the, uh, the matte and the shiny effects. And, you know, this is the standard gun, I think. There's another couple of guns. There's a heap of switch outs for Optimus. He's got the flames and the rusting effect on the feet. Um, the big, huge base, as they all do. Just a really appealing statue. It just, you know, when they just get it right. Um, don't try too hard, and they just get it right. So I think the uh, Megatron and the uh, Optimus here are great statues. Um, the Megatron arm has like a claw. This is the short claw. Um, you can get like a larger claw. There's a. It comes with a larger claw. I thought it looked a bit silly, but anyway, I thought the short claw maybe be the best. Um, bit of a view of the face. Still, um, stop it. Stop it. Um, this is a really great piece, this. This is, uh, it got so much presence, uh, this Megatron. So the hand has a switch out. Uh, you can switch this out for like a claw looking hand. Um, like I said, the paint job. Really good for its day, you know, for, for however old this is, maybe 10 plus years old. I don't know if someone can correct me there, but it's got the runes on there. It's got like a, uh, a grease nipple bit here, I'm guessing, or I don't know what that is, but really cool. Really, really cool. So plenty, you know, like the bronze painting throughout. And I like these... Uh, these uh, tank track feet that he has. Um, these bits here are rubber, which is real interesting. I guess back in the day, you know, when they started out, they, you know, thought it might be a good idea to use that, but I think it's a bit of a problem because they do heat up and bend and move and whatever. But yeah, it uh, they do look really, really good together. Um, I was happy to get them. Uh, you know, I think uh, these two here, are certainly Transformer um, Holy Grail. And uh, yeah, really, really happy to get these in uh, the collection. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is it uh, worth it? Is it, uh, are these good, bad? Adding to the list. Um, yeah, Optimus. Optimus also has the head stand, which is cool, like a battle mask version. And I've got him there with the axe. You can get two swords, an axe, a gun, fists, 
uh, all kinds of stuff. And then over here, I have the, obviously, collections and stuff. So I'm starting to put shit over here now too. I've got uh, the bust and the, the uh, Batmobile thingy. My car's here, so... Anyway, I'm starting to really run out of room. I've got I've got uh, statues in our container on the farm that I'm starting to store. So I am well and truly out of room, and I, my house won't be ready for you know at least a year. So it's going to be a hell of a time unboxing 40 or 50 statues by the end of next year. But anyway, something to look forward to. Let me know your thoughts, comments on these two. Um, good, bad, overrated, underrated. Uh, like to have them, not like to have them. Yeah, just uh, for me, they're two really cool pieces. So uh, thank you all for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next couple of videos.